Hi, I'm Marina with LipMaps, and in this video, we're going to dive into how to use the LipMaps app in order to identify potential research gaps. Research gaps refer to any unexplored question or open area of inquiry in scientific research. Research gaps often drive what kind of thing you'll study or what you'll make your project on, and that's why having different methods of identifying real gaps can be really valuable. In this video, we'll discuss three specific kinds of research gaps and how to identify them using the LipMaps app. The first is the most generic kind. We're just looking for any unexplored area of research. So for a particular topic or question, is there scientific literature that answers it? In order to find that, we'll use the app and see if there are any papers on a very specific kind of topic. The second kind of gap we'll address is looking for intersectionalities. So these are more like interdisciplinary research gaps. These can happen if two different fields observe the same phenomena, but actually have different names for it. And so researchers may not be aware of the potential overlaps between different disciplines. The third kind of research gap we'll look at is actually a gap within our own research. So that can be taking references from your own paper or a collection of papers from your own literature library and looking for any potential missing links or missing papers. This can be especially useful at the end of your research project or the end of your literature review to make sure that you didn't miss any papers while collecting literature on your topic. Before diving into finding research gaps, we need to first have some particular field or research questions in mind. If you're starting completely from scratch, then one idea is using ChatGPT to discuss potential research gaps in the field that you're interested in. To help yourself find research gaps using ChatGPT4, you can prompt ChatGPT by explaining what you do know about your field and by asking what are the missing links or gaps that might exist. In this case, I'm explaining to ChatGPT that there is a lot of scientific literature and examination of how different major religions inform environmentalism, ecotheology, sustainability, and so on. And I'm asking it to identify what religions there are that haven't been examined or what research gaps might exist. In this response, ChatGPT is providing me potential research gaps and listing them out. So it's telling me that these are the different religions or different spirituality practices which are currently not examined for their relationship to environmentalism and ecotheology. Now I can't take the information ChatGPT provides me at face value, but this can be a great launching pad for me to determine what to get into next. So in this example, I'll take its first suggestion, Zoroastrianism, and search for relevant literature on the intersectionality of Zoroastrianism and ecotheology or environmentalism, because that's the particular research question that I'm using in this case. To do that, I can hop over into the LitMaps app and start looking for literature. I can start by doing a quick search by clicking quick search at the top left and looking for a valid starting paper. So I'll type in Zoroastrianism along with uh, ecological religion. But here you can type in any relevant keywords on your particular topic that you're looking for. You can also search for precise starting papers. So if you already know the name of a relevant paper, you can type that in here. Here, the first paper I find is pretty relevant, is Zoroastrianism and Ecological Religion. Here, I'll click on it and hit Explore Related Articles. LitMaps will then generate a lit map. So a lit map or a literature map is going to show me my original starting article here in the shaded circle, along with a variety of recommended articles. So these are other relevant articles on my topic based on how they're connected to my original source paper. It's important to note that a lit map is much more than just citations and references. It actually shows me the most interconnected papers to my own. So these papers not only may not only cite or reference my own paper, but they're highly connected to one another. For example, I can note that this paper is also connected to this other paper on the map. In terms of research gaps, I can already see that this map is rather limited. There's not very many paper suggestions. In order to help me find research gaps, I can start tagging or saving papers with the particular topic. So this way I can keep track of what I'm finding. So in this case, I'll click on my original source paper and hit tag, giving it the name of the particular religion I'm studying right now, Zoroastrianism. 
When I find another paper that is really relevant to my topic, I can go ahead and tag it as well. When you tag a paper that's recommended, it will automatically be added to our map. That can be useful because now all I need to do is click update results and it will now use both of these papers as inputs to the search algorithm. In this way, you can iteratively start searching and finding more relevant papers on your topic. In order to really hone in on any particular research gaps, I can also try and use the keyword filter at the top. So by clicking on this target cursor, I can select a specific keyword to look for. So in this case, I wanna make sure that all the papers I'm looking at focus on this particular topic of Zoroastrianism. If you're looking for something else, you can always add custom keywords by clicking add custom. If I hit update results, the litmaps algorithm will now not only use these papers as inputs, but limit my results to those that mention Zoroastrianism in the title or abstract. Here I can see that already my recommendations are much less. So clearly this is an early indicator that this field may not be heavily explored. After repeating this process for some time, I'll be able to hone in on all the relevant literature and determine just how explored or unexplored this particular research question is. In the end, I ended up with a map that looks like this. This only has six articles, so it's really not so many on the topic I'm interested in. However, because of the kind of topic this is, I also had to examine the intersectionality of different religions to my topic of ecology. For that, I created an even bigger map showing these different major religions and their connections to ecotheology and environmentalism. Keep in mind this is just an example, but it serves to demonstrate how these other topics are far more explored than the one that I'm interested in. The final check to make sure that I haven't missed any relevant articles is to select all the papers on my particular niche, my particular subtopic, click on the three dots here, and hit explore on a new lit map. This will again rerun the lit maps algorithm using these papers as inputs. And just like before, I can also still use this keyword filter to focus in on my particular subtopic of Zoroastrianism. From this brief exploration, it becomes clear that this topic doesn't have a lot of scientific literature on it. Not this religion itself, but rather its intersection to ecology and environmentalism. This doesn't 100% guarantee there's a research gap, but it gives me a big clue that there might be something here worth examining. You can also use lit maps to find research gaps of a more interdisciplinary nature. In some cases, different fields or domains may be studying very similar subjects or topics, but using different names or keywords to describe them. In these cases, the overlap between the fields may be very limited or non-existent. This is where lit maps can come in to help show you the connections between different disciplines or scientific domains. An example a user recently shared with me is around the topic of moral injury. Moral injury is often studied as it pertains to veterans who experience a lot of psychological and sociological distress after coming back. However, a very similar phenomenon also happens in the healthcare industry among nurses and other healthcare workers. They experience something called moral distress or sometimes called moral injury. So for this particular kind of research gap, we can look at each of these fields independently and try to note where the overlaps exist and where they're missing. I'll get started in the LitMaps app by searching for my topic at hand. So I click quick search at the top left and we'll search for moral injury and veterans. But keep in mind, if you already have articles on your topic and you may already have them saved in your reference manager or elsewhere, you can always import these files here as a BibTeX, RIS, or PubMed. If you're like me and you don't have any papers, then you can just search for your keywords here and see what LitMaps returns. These are our starting papers. So just like in the last research gap, we'll select some starting papers and create a lit map from them. In this case, there are many relevant papers here, so I can select every single relevant one, using them all as inputs, and click Explore Related Articles. Lit maps will again find recommendations using these articles as inputs to the search algorithm. Next, I'm going to go through and make sure I label all of these articles with the particular topic at hand. Because I'm examining interdisciplinary research and intersectionality, I wanna make sure everything is clearly labeled, whether it deals with the more veteran side of things or the more nursing healthcare industry side of things. 
So in this case, I'll take those input papers, select all of them, and hit the tag button. I'll make a new tag so I can keep track of the moral injury and veterans articles that I find. Next, I would go through each of these recommendations and see if they're relevant to my topic. If so, I'll go ahead and tag them. When I tag a paper, it's automatically added to the map and I can expand my search looking for even more relevant articles on the same topic. As I continuously do this, I'll hone in on all the relevant papers. I'll also apply the same method for looking at this topic from the other field. So going back to quick search, I can now look for moral distress and nurses. Here I find a very different set of papers that are returned. I'll hit these and again click Explore Related Articles, and LitMaps will generate an entirely new map with these as inputs. Just like before, I'll select my initial input papers and tag them, but this time I'll give them a new tag with a distinct name. So this will be the Moral Distress in Nurses. I'll also update the color of this tag, so that way if papers come up with both of these tags on the same map, I won't get confused. I click on the tag on the far left side of the screen hit the little color option, and I can change it to any color that makes sense for me. So now that'll be easier to distinguish if I end up getting papers with each of these tags on my map. After continuing this process for some time, I'll end up with a huge list of papers on each of my topics. So these are all the papers I've collected on the moral distress in healthcare workers or nurses. And here are all the papers I've collected on moral injury in veterans. These are both examples. There's a lot more literature than what I have here, but for this case, I feel like I've covered these fields well enough to now demonstrate how they connect on a map. So I'll click on one tag, hold the command key, and hit another tag, so that way I can select both of these, and then together click visualize. So now I'll create a lit map with both of these tags featured on the map. As I hover around the papers on the map, I notice that a lot of the orange papers, those that deal with veterans and moral injury, tend to cite other papers that deal with moral injury and veterans However, they're rarely connected to those in the healthcare space, these green papers. By examining the literature in this visual way, I can start to get an idea of how these two fields appear to be rather distinct. And this is where a potential research gap might exist, that there seems to be a lack of papers looking at both of these topics together at the same time. I can also check for this kind of research gap using another method. I'll go back and click on one of these tags so focusing again on only one angle in this field, so this is the moral distress in healthcare workers, and I'll go ahead and click explore related. So this will create a lit map with all of these articles as search inputs and try to find more relevant literature. As we'd expect, we're finding more literature again from the nursing domain. However, I can actually try and hone in on any connections that deal with the veteran perspective by hitting on that keyword search option here and adding that keyword, veterans. Now, if the hypothesis is right, that there's probably a bit of a gap here and there's not a whole lot of overlap, I wouldn't expect a great deal of papers. And indeed, even though I have a good set of input papers, the amount of articles returned that actually deal with veterans are very few. Again, just like in the last example, this doesn't 100% mean there's a research gap but it's a pretty good indicator that the literature doesn't appear to be as well connected as it perhaps otherwise could be. The final research gap we'll go over is using lit maps to find gaps in your own research. Although this isn't typically considered a research gap by traditional definitions, it's a really useful way to find missing papers and to make sure that your existing project or that previous publications aren't missing really relevant papers. The idea here is to take your existing literature library and look for any missing links. In this particular example, I'll use an existing paper, pull down all of its references, and try to see if there are any papers that should have originally been referenced when that paper was released. That's not to say that it's definitely the case, but it is useful to examine that in most cases, we have a hard time knowing if we've really covered the literature effectively. This is where lit maps can be really useful because we can find missing links that we'll otherwise overlook. For this example, I'll just use a set of references from an existing paper. In particular, it's this paper, a well-cited 2017 paper 
about urban light pollution on nocturnally migrating birds. In your case, you may want to just use your existing literature library or perhaps all the sources you've already collected for your current literature review or research project. Hop on to the LitMaps app and again start by clicking Quick Search. This time, instead of searching for papers using the search bar, I'll click Upload File and drop in that BibTeX I made. Next, click Explore Related Articles. LitMaps will search using all of these articles as inputs to the search algorithm and try to find any relevant connected literature on the topic. The results in the outer ring represent these recommendations. If you've gone ahead and done this exercise using a set of papers you already have, then all you need to do is just go through these paper suggestions and identify any that might be relevant for your topic. You can also continuously expand this map just like we did in the other examples by clicking more like this, which adds these papers to the inside of the circle and uses them as additional search inputs when you click update results. Because the paper I'm examining came out in 2017, I'll go ahead and do a little experiment and limit the results to 2017. So the question I'm trying to figure out, although it's a bit cheating because now it's been a few years since the time of publication, is were there any other relevant papers that could have been referenced when this paper came out? I'll go ahead and click update results. And now all the papers returned to me by LitMaps, they will all have been published at 2017 or earlier. Here, I still get quite a few paper suggestions. So the idea here would be to go through these and find if there's any relevant papers that I could conceivably think ought to have been referenced in that original publication. Again, that's not to say that that paper did miss these references, but it just is an interesting experiment because I might find other related literature on the topic. The best use case for this particular method is if you're currently working on a literature review and you don't want to miss any important papers on your topic. It's also worth noting that doing this kind of exercise one time can be really effective, but it also doesn't last long. Every single week, there's hundreds of thousands of new papers added to the LitMaps database and hundreds of thousands of papers published. So how do you make sure that any of those articles you also don't miss? It's actually really easy with LitMaps. Just click back at the top left and notice this third option on your map called Stay Up to Date. If you just click Open Monitor and hit Enable Monitor, you will now be automatically alerted if any new papers are added to the database that connect to your existing literature library. This is a great way to keep your search alive while you continue your literature review. So up until the moment that you want to submit your article or complete your project, you can be sure that you'll be aware of any relevant literature that comes out in the meantime. I hope this helps you more effectively find research gaps using the LitMaps app. If you'd like to learn more about how to use LitMaps to support your entire research process, check out our other YouTube videos and follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn, where we're often posting workflows for how to use our app better. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.